Good morning. Today's video is we're going to remove the lower unit on this outboard and also we realize with an engine this old a lot of the bolts are going to be stuck so it'll probably be a lesson on how to remove uh, st stuck bolts. You can see this uh, motor's got this broken piece on the uh, on the lower unit. I'm going to see if say, there's something that can be welded up, or if uh, just going to have to start over and get a new one. So let's get started. Alright, let's see how these are. You know that's going to be tight. Huh. Let's see if we can wiggle that foot out of there. I see right on the bottom of the shifter between right in there where it separates. There's a bolt in there. We'll try taking that one out. Right between the split and the, when that drops down a little bit, we're going to loosen this up. Hopefully that'll release the... Shifting rods bent. No wonder it was so hard. All right. There's that. Okay, this is broken right behind these pickup drills. I can't tell exactly if the seal if that seal on the shift rod down in there is below that crack it's not going to be a big deal I can we can weld that back in we'll keep tearing it down and see I'll go ahead and Go ahead and get this pulled out, get all this done. I'll just tear it completely down so either I'm taking and getting all the gear assembly out of it for a new hub or fix this. Don't know which way yet. Let's keep going.
Yeah, I don't think there's any oil in it. Surprising enough, there's a little in there. Darn little. This is where you don't want to get crazy and pull on these bolts. You twist them off if you're not careful. Two shorts, two longs. Well, that ain't how I was going to do it, but that, that's all right, too. Because we're going to take it down all the way. Got some... 320 grit sandpaper here. I think I see what was the issue with this motor. Looks to me like this drain hole here got clogged and caused all this damage. Caused it to get a split in the back here and also Just put in the front, but I'm thinking we'll get it all cleaned up and uh, we'll see a, if this is just a water jacket we should be able to squeeze this back tight if providing the seal still good to the uh, lower unit. I think I've come up with a way to get this off of there. This here, I don't have the special puller, but what I think I'm going to do Let's try this. I'm going to slip this washer on here. Run this nut up. I run these in there. I'm going to slip that on there, just take up some space. Now I'm going to Okay, should have put my ratchet wrench on there, but oh well. And we're going to start tightening them up. Go in here. I just make sure it's in there far enough. I don't want it to strip out.
Well, you can see we're making some progress. It's starting, but it's going to be slow. I just take and give it a little. Oh. You can hear it moving. You know, first instinct is you want to just grab that, but you know what? I'll bet you that's hot. There it is. And as my usual, anybody that's watched any of my previous videos, the spring with the two ball bearings in there, I usually lose those and have to order two and three sets. And I, I'm a creature of habit, I've still done the same. And bent. Well, there it is. Here's where the shifter linkage went.
Can you believe it? A day's work fitting that little bucket.